I've only been here six or seven weeks now, maybe eight weeks, but I've got really close to a few of these blokes. And, you know, I think I, it's a big call, but maybe, you know, like a friendship for life, and I, I really thought like I owed it to them. I come here from St. Ellen, you know, with uh, maybe my confidence set a little bit, and, and now I'm, uh, when I do leave here, you know, I'll be on an absolute high, and I'm, um, I'm just uh, really looking forward to going to Warrington Saturday night now. I was going to say, you look like you've, you've been playing in this whole FC for some time out there on the right wing. Yeah, well, like you say, it's a lot easier when they're really good blokes, they're really good with me. I remember the first time I went down in the morning training, and they all took me under the wing straight away, and Peter Gentle's been really good with me, and, you know, I'm just really th thankful, it's been amazing. Yeah, I think we, we had a dig, I think that was the most important thing for us and um, apart from that, everything else went wrong, he just didn't seem to go for us, um, every bounce of the ball sort of went their way and uh, they probably wanted it a little bit more than us, they, they were the best team by far and they were far more clinical, the little chips and um, they spent, you know, the wide passes, sorry, missed passes and that, just everything just sort of works for them, they got away with it so fair play to them really, we just weren't good enough. We, the boys have worked hard for the last few weeks. Um, we've lifted everything up a notch. Uh, defensively, we're very good today. We dropped our guard twice there late in the game, which um, we're not real impressed with. But um, defensively, you have to be very good to win this comp, and um, it's something we're priding ourselves on. You've got to score tries, and you seem to be you seem to have a knack of that at the moment as a team. Yeah, we're, we're playing as a team. We're, we're we're very good when we play as a team. Um, when we try to do things individually, you, you can see it falls apart. So we're we're working hard as playing as a team. How far do you think Hull FC can go you know, after the, the performance they put in against you? Because you'll know the strengths, the weaknesses, that kind of thing. Do you think they can go to Warrington next weekend and beat them? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, if they put in a performance like they did today, they were just so clinical, like I said, and everything worked for them. And their physical aggression, they were just very good. And they didn't sort of give us a breather, really. Towards the back end, they probably lapsed off on a couple of tackles. I'm sure that they'll want to tidy that up a little bit. But apart from that, they were, they were good all the way through and that's the disappointing thing for us they can go as far as they want to go really the crowd singing are you watching Hull care i guess it's more a case of are you watching warrington wolves absolutely yeah you know um, in these playoffs anything can happen you know i played in the last two like i say and i've come up short in grand finals they're only 18 minutes anything can happen um i, I don't mind going uh, warrington saturday night being the underdog i was there last night watching a lot of my good mates in st ellens and they turned them over so i don't see why we can't go and do it can you go all the way, you know, contractually with your with your loan here? Can you play all the way to, to Old Trafford in a in a whole shit no matter who you play? Absolutely. Well, I don't know about if I play St Ellen's, I don't think the rules will let me play there, but as for like, the set of lads, they've, um, they've definitely got it in them. You know, I've been asked a few times by local papers and what have you, and I'm not just saying it, just try and, you know, just try and uh, just get people's hopes up and things like that. You know, it's definitely doable and, you know, only time will tell. We've got a good coach, we've got a good set of lads, training's been good, so well, let's just see how it goes. Yeah, it was a great performance today. Um, a good way to end our our um, season at the KC, and uh, we feel like we're in good form with the last few weeks, and you know we we'll put quite a few points on teams, and we'll have to make sure our D's good against Warrington. So step one complete. I guess the whole confidence in the camp must be building as you know as you head over the next week. Yeah, all, all week we've spoken about staying relaxed and, and being confident in what we what we can do and what we can achieve. Um, we're not getting ahead of ourselves. Um, yeah, we've got a pretty tough task next week against a, a very good Warrington side who are coming off a loss. Uh, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to uh, what we're doing. I, mean, I know you probably won't want to think Ed, but if, if you if you go over and beat Warrington and perhaps you get Saints, what happens with Jamie Foster? Can he play? Can he, or can he not play? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. We might meet him in the grand final. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But he's pretty handy, isn't he? It was a good team performance. You know, like um, you know, credit to our middle. They played really well today. And I made it like easy for us out wide. You look like you really enjoyed playing against the Field Giants today. You know, plenty of offloads and uh, you know, get you got hole on the front foot several times today. Um, yeah, that's, like I said before, you know, the, the forwards do all the hard work, and then um, you know they give they give us the easy work outside. But um, yeah, you know, I just wanted to have a big game. You know, on my, on my last game at the KC. You know, I think this is our last home game this year. So um, you know, I really wanted to play. And, you know, thank the fans for um, all their hard work and support.